Alrighty, it is time to animate some effects. Now, right here, um, I'm starting off with like a little bit of a sprite uh, thing. Those usually ask, uh, last anywhere from like a three to uh, five frames, or sometimes even two if you do it quickly enough. And I'm gonna have a, uh, a explosion behind it as uh, bullets come out of the gun. Uh, so, as you see, just uh, once again, just roughing things out. It's all about roughing things out. Uh, with uh, smoke, it uh, comes out pretty fast, and so you can draw some new frames without uh, having to worry about too much. But as it gets towards the edge, it uh, gets a lot slower very quickly. So it's a quick pop out, and then it uh, stays and lingers as it slowly grows. Um, now, uh, I'm actually go through a few different ways of uh, trying this out. I'm uh, experimenting a little bit as far as uh effects go and that's that's a good thing that's how you uh, definitely improve you got to try different things so i'm um, uh right now i'm trying some simpler shapes for the uh highlights out there uh once again nothing uh too complicated i find it's always a good way to start uh and uh luckily uh for smokes and explosions it usually doesn't need a, a, a like a thick black outline on everything so um Usually you can sort of do it in the style of this uh, Nova Kid behind here without having to worry about all the extra little bits of uh, line art. Ooh, all right. See, uh, because it goes so slow uh, near the end, uh, what I'm trying to do here is uh, work in a bit of uh, shape tweening. It doesn't hurt it. It doesn't hurt at all to just, you know, uh, try to see if it works. And if it looks ugly, then you usually have to separate uh, the pieces that move out onto uh, each layer. Now, it's a, a bit of a shame here because, well, I mean, not really a shame. Once again, this is a, a, a little trial thing. And for some reason, uh, just as you're working away, uh, most artists have this problem. You, you don't realize it's a bad idea until uh, much later. But yeah, you have to go through it to uh, learn the whole process. But, uh, I mean, I might get away with this... Uh, this um, a quick, more simple style of an explosion if it was a, a different style that it was uh, associated with and if it only was on for a few frames. It doesn't really suit with uh, Nova Kid right now. Um, but I can still use the uh, roughs that I did. Uh, here right now I'm just drawing in some uh, bullets, some scatter shot. He's got a sawed off shotgun so I wanted a lot of bullets to come out. Uh, a lot of little pellets. Uh, now um, I ended up doing this on only just one frame, but uh, once again, just trying things out, uh, I was considering uh, having it slightly slow motion by having all the bullets come out in uh, two frames. And like every every great drawing just starts really ugly and messy like this kind of stuff. Well, I'm maybe not ugly, but definitely uh, messy. It's the uh, <laughs> it's it's a good way to really get uh, everything flowing and out there. Uh, so once I've put in like uh, the base like sh uh, shapes and trajectory of the way the uh, spray is going to come out, I just throw in some different colors. Um, makes it look pretty nice. Uh, what's really great is uh, Sam, a uh, buddy of mine who uh, works as a compositor, has been volunteering to help me out with uh, my projects and he, he makes things look extra special. So I'm really looking forward to handing this off to him and he, uh, he works with uh, After Effects uh, to add some nice glows on things. He's a, he's a big fan of uh, lens flares. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of lens flares, but I, I, I guess they can work in some situations. So we have, we have some back and forth with that sometimes. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, so yeah, uh, just working on explosions right now. If you want like tutorials on, I, I think uh, uh, Jazza also has tutorials more in depth uh, on uh, this and lightning and stuff like that. I'll, uh, I'll link to that in the description. Uh, so see, uh, now you see here that I've actually used the, uh, the rough highlights I had before and I'm just uh, adding points to it with uh, once again holding uh, alt while uh, dragging uh, on, on, under the just main selection tool of uh, V. Once you're on the edge of a line you can pull and add points and move stuff around. Um, could have also just roughed in the shapes and uh, hit smooth and uh, stuff like that. But anyways, after I have all these uh, points on here, I actually copy out the frames 
and then expand them all and move them uh, and adjust them. And when you're doing a shape tween, if you are working between, well, basically the same shape that you've copied and manipulated, you have a lot better chance of it uh, working out nice and smoothly, uh, especially if uh, it's uh, one separate object per layer. Like, uh, even if you have uh, two different colors, if you put each color on a separate layer, you have a better chance of it all working out, which is really great for the uh, slow ease at the end of these kinds of explosions. All right, well, thanks again for watching, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, look for my other videos.